Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to Trina Zez Life, your source for all things lifestyle, fashion, beauty, content creation, and so much more. If this is your first time tuning in with me, I want to give you a huge welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, I want to go ahead and say welcome back. So as the title suggests, y'all, I am so happy to announce that my blog, chinazazlife.com, is now live. This has been something that has been postponed for the longest time, y'all, and I finally let go and let God. So in today's video, I'd like to share with you all a little bit Bit more about myself, my why, and what you can expect to see over on the blog. So in case you guys were wondering, my name is Chinaza and I am a 24 year old Nigerian American. My name means God protects in the Igbo language and I'm actually half Igbo and half Yoruba. With the meaning of my name, I just feel as though God like has a personal calling over my life and I just want to say above all else, above any title that I hold, I'm a firm believer in Jesus Christ. Like period. Like God is really my homie, you know what I'm saying? Because it's really through him that I'm able to do all things, even being able to launch this blog today after pushing aside my doubts, my fears, everything like that, my perfectionism. I was just like, you know, it's time to let go and let God. So, you know, I'm just really excited to be able to be here today. I grew up in Woodbury, New York, which is a small town located about an hour's drive away from New York City. However, I now reside on the outskirts of Cincinnati, Ohio. So growing up, I grew up constantly, you know, expressing myself creatively whether that was through video whether that was through photos but another way that I love to do so was through writing I feel like from the ages of literally like probably like eight up until like the end of middle school I was always journaling I was always writing in a diary and then even when I got into high school I was part of the newspaper club when I was in college I was a part of her campus where I actually served as both a writer and also as the president, which when in that role, I was also the editor-in-chief. So again, just used to reading and editing and all those different things like that. And I think that over the past few years, I've really been neglecting my love for writing. I graduated in 2018 from the University at Albany with a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science and Africana Studies. And you may be wondering what I'm doing with those degrees. Nothing. I originally was on the law school track, but y'all, like one thing about me is if I'm not passionate about something, I cannot continue to pursue it. And that was the disconnect between me and pursuing a career in law. Like it was always something that I'm like, oh, I could be good at this, but like I wasn't passionate about it. But what I did find I was passionate about was, you know, expressing myself creatively. Like I literally would be in class with like one headphone in, like editing something, thinking about like, oh, when's the next time I'm going to be shooting, da da da, all things like that. So I think from that point, I kind of just knew that like, okay, like this is the path that I'm going to take. So it was then that I decided that I was going to, you know, pursue a full-time career as a content creator, as a videographer, as a photographer. And since then, like it's been, I'm not going to say that it's been easy, but it's been all the way worth it because being able to pursue my passions on a daily basis and being able to do something that I'm, I love and that I, you know, that I actually feel fulfilled by is such a blessing. And of course, being able to bring you all along the journey makes it even more worth it. So thank you again so much for staying tuned. And y'all, I've always loved to be able to share my life and my experiences with others, you know, being able to help people, you know, learn from my mistakes or even just learn from my life experiences. And my blog is just gonna serve as an extension of that. Through being open and transparent about my life, I hope to empower women to, you know, live their best life and to find the joy in everyday life. Weekly on the blog you can expect to see posts that are centered on lifestyle beauty fashion content creation tips fitness and so much more with not only my blog but with all of my social platforms in general my goal is to not only just build a community but also to be able to cultivate and create a safe space where we're all able to be open with each other where we're all able to share and to connect and to learn from one another so with whatever it is i definitely encourage you you know to reach out i'm always here to listen and with that being said guys that is just a little bit about me definitely let me know down in the comments below if there's any questions that you have or if there's any posts that you want to see up on the blog the link to my blog will be linked down in my description box from now on so definitely make sure to go ahead and check it out and let me know what you guys think also be sure to go ahead and sign up for my weekly newsletter and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel make sure to go ahead and pause this video and click that subscribe button also make sure to turn on your post notifications so that you never miss a video. If you're not following me over on my social platforms, so TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Clubhouse, I'm on all of those platforms over at Chinaza's Life. And y'all know <clears throat> we gotta do our little jingle, of course. And that's all I got for today, y'all. That's all I got for today, y'all. That's all I got.
Thank you guys so much again for the support. I really appreciate it. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll see you back for my next one.